boxing truth here. I wanted to talk about one of the biggest chumps in boxing. And that is Paulie Magic Man Malinaji. An interesting character in the boxing world for, for over the past few years, this century. He's made a lot of noise with his mouth throughout his career, Paul Malinaji. And now he's mostly doing much, most of his work is with the commentating gig he has with Showtime. He's still an active fighter, even though he supposedly retired after his ass whooping from Danny Garcia. He's fought twice since, gotten two decision victories. And he's trying to keep himself relevant, saying that he's willing to step in as an opponent for Kel Brook. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, who the hell wants to see that slaughter? Don't need to see Malinaji get his ass whooped by Kel Brook, so... I really have no interest in watching Malinaji fight anymore. But this is about his, you know, his remarks, his statements, and his constant haterade he spews at, at Manny Pacquiao. I mean, his obsession and his hate towards Manny Pacquiao is just confused admiration. This is a guy who's been talking shit on Manny for years, saying that he's he's a drug cheat that that he's he's on PEDs without any single thread of evidence to back him to back up his claims just runs his mouth about Manny tries to discredit his career to discredit his accomplishments and won't acknowledge that the, the man is just on the same level if not better than Floyd Mayweather when it comes to financials yes Floyd Mayweather is the richest fighter ever He's not the best ever. He's the richest fighter ever. But when it comes to between the two fighters, who is better overall? Who had the better career? Who rates higher, higher on the pound for pound list? It's an interesting debate. Considering everything that, that's happened between the two careers. And it's, Mayweather and Pacquiao's careers is totally different. I mean, one guy fought threats in their primes, took on great challenges. The other guy didn't took a path of least resistance every single time and created a imaginary undefeated record. But let's have this debate about who rates higher on the pound for pound list of all all time between Mayweather, Mayweather and Pacquiao. And I would say it's Manny Pacquiao. I think he rates higher because he accomplished more in his career. He was the fighter of the decade. He won more titles. He won more lineal titles. He he was a champion in more divisions. He beat more Hall of Famers. He beat fighters' threats in his prime. And now when it comes to head-to-head, -head, Mayweather has the official win, but a lot of people dispute that. You know, this this, this still it was still an unsatisfactory result of what happened in their fight last year. And for it for them to clear the doubt, they will have to do it again, but with on, e on an even playing field this time. But Malinaji, he was saying that it was ridiculous to have Manny Pacquiao ahead of him, ahead of Floyd Mayweather on the pound for pound list. I don't see why is it a ridiculous uh, claim or why is it a ridiculous argument. Now Max Kellerman brought this up in an interview. I forgot which media outlet, but. He said that he would rate Manny Pacquiao ahead of Floyd Mayweather simply because he moved up more divisions, he won more titles, and he was also a much more exciting fighter. He also had better quality wins against the, the, the same type of opposition. So, Malinaji is, is just pretty much saying it's, it's ridiculous to have Pacquiao ahead of him, but... You can make a strong case that yes, Manny Pacquiao rates higher. I mean, it's happened in throughout history of the boxing. I mean, just because you beat somebody head to head doesn't mean that you're better than them overall. I mean, the the, the argument Malinaji is making, and his argument is that look at what happened in the ring, the ring together. Now, obviously, Malinaji is dick riding 
Mayweather's performance, that, that he actually dominated Pacquiao, that he blanked him, shut him out, won 10 of the 12 rounds. No, that's not what went down in that fight. But that's just the 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 hate that, that Maonaji has for Pacquiao. I won't acknowledge that that it was at least a, a close a close fight between the two. He, he has to say that Mayweather dominated Pacquiao when he did it. But it's happened throughout the history of, of the sport. I mean, going by Maonaji's argument, then you would argue, oh, then uh, Terry Norris is better than Sugar Ray Leonard then all time because he, he knocked him out when they fought head-to-head. -head. No, most people have Sugar Ray Leonard ahead of Terry Norris. Same thing with... Uh, you would say uh, Trinidad over De La Hoya. Now, most people have De La Hoya ahead of Trinidad, even though Trinidad has the win over De La Hoya, but De La Hoya had the more celebrated career. He won more titles. He also moved up more divisions. So most people would have De La Hoya over Trinidad, and also he, he made a lot more money compared to, to Trinidad. Another example, you also say that Trevor Burbick is better than Ali head to head just because, I mean, in all time, just because he beat him head to head. No, it doesn't work that way. It's like that in a lot of sports. Just because you beat someone, an individual sport as well, just because you beat someone head to head doesn't mean you're better than them in overall accomplishments and overall all time on the pound pound list if, if you rate ahead of him or not. It doesn't matter. It goes by, you know, who had the better career, who had the better wins, better opposition, who beat more Hall of Famers. In, in terms of similar opposition, who had the better, more quality wins? It was Pacquiao. He destroyed De La Hoya, destroyed Hatton, destroyed Cotto. I mean, Mayweather went life and death with De La Hoya, struggled with Hatton until he knocked him out late, and had a competitive fight and got hit a lot against Miguel Cotto. So if you go that by that uh, criteria, then you have to say it's Manny Pacquiao. But it's not just that, man. It's, it's the more accomplishments, the more... The, the more titles, the more divisions. He's won five lineal titles and five weight divisions. He has the longest reign on the pound pound list, according to Ring Magazine, on their list, the longest reign ever. So, just Malinaji just needs to stop sweating Manny Pacquiao. Stop talking about the dude because, the, because Manny Pacquiao don't talk about you, bro. Paulie Malignaggi has been patrolling Manny Pacquiao for years, saying all this bullshit about him, you know, using and being on PEDs and, and, and being a drug cheat without any single sort of evidence. But yet Manny Pacquiao is yet to acknowledge Paulie Malignaggi. He's yet to acknowledge any of the statements that, that Paulie keeps spewing out at Manny Pacquiao for the past, I don't know how long, it's been years. And, it's, and Manny Pacquiao won't even acknowledge it because most likely he don't even know who the fuck Pauli Malignaggi is. So, Malignaggi is singing a different tune ever since he's been hemianized. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, it wasn't always this way. I mean, Malignaggi really had a lot of high praise for Manny Pacquiao. Even consider him one of the best fighters ever. Prior to the fight with Miguel Cotto, I mean, check out this clip right before the Pacquiao's fight with Miguel Cotto, and and check out Manny, Malignaggi's true feelings about Manny Pacquiao, and especially if he would have beaten Cotto, what Malignaggi would consider Manny Pacquiao if he would beat Cotto. And I want to know his take on this fight with uh. Cotto and Manny Pacquiao. First of all, I want to say they're two excellent fighters, two very good fighters, and I respect both of them. Uh, I favor Miguel slightly, uh, maybe because I fought him also, maybe not, because I, but I did favor Manny uh, to knock out Ricky Hatton and Manny. Yes, you did. You know? So uh, this time around, so I, you know, obviously you're going to say it's not because I fought Miguel that I'm picking Miguel, because this time I'm picking Miguel and not uh, not Manny. Not Manny. You know? So, I mean, I respect both guys. I think they're both very solid fighters, very good fighters. I just think, I know for a fact, out of the guys I fought, Miguel was the hardest puncher I fought. I know, in fact, nobody came close, not even Ricky Hatton, you know. So, um, having said that, I mean, it affects the way you fight sometimes, getting hit like that. And not that you're going to go to sleep or anything, but at the same time, get a repetitive assault of hard, hard punches. Sometimes it affects the way you're thinking in there, it affects your game plan, it affects the way you, you know, what you might do, it, it, it might affect your confidence in there. Um, and I just think, you know, at the end of the day, Miguel is a strong guy for a welterweight. Manny...
Now what has changed about Maanaji? Ever since Pacquiao destroyed Cotto, Maanaji has just been hating on Manny Pacquiao. Now Miguel Cotto is the best fighter Maanaji ever fought. He, go, he pretty much uses Koto as a parameter towards how good other fighters are when they fight him. And he said it right there in that clip. If Manny Pacquiao beats Miguel Koto, he may be the best fighter ever because he, he did it, he's done it all. He's, he's, he, he's beaten the guys. He's won the titles. He's jumped weight divisions. So what happened, bro? Like, like where all this hate coming from? And look what happened to Maanaji ever since he signed with Heyman. Before we signed with Heyman, I mean, he was saying some real shit. He was being real with the boxing fans. Was talking about how the American boxing media is bullshit. That the media outlets, the, the writers, they have to be fanboys. They have to dick ride in order to get access to, to the promoters and managers of, and, and fighters. And he was telling the truth about Heyman. That, you know, Heyman's a, he, you know, he's, he's a shady character that... He can get what he wants. He could really do some bad things with the sport. That that they're they're a mob, you know that they, they can, you know, corrupt corrupt things and corrupt matches, buy off judges, like he stated in his post interview with uh, with uh, Jim Gray of Showtime following the Adrian Broner fight. I mean, look what he, look in this clip right after the Broner fight. Knowing that he pretty much got screwed out of uh, getting a fair decision, he he almost won the fight. Honestly, I thought Broner barely edged him. He landed the better shots, but Manaji was was really tight. He was was salty for a, for a long time because he felt he really won the fight, and he felt that he didn't get the a fair decision, you know, a proper decision because he felt the, the one of the judges were manipulated by Heyman. But check this. Check out this clip. Look what he said. Look what he said about signing with Al Heyman right after. Paulie, what would you do if Al Heyman did offer to sign you? And he brought you some good money. Would you ever consider signing with him? I, I did at one time. I would have signed with him. Bitch, well, I'm too much of a man to do that. Oh, so what happened to that Paul Maanaji? Like, what happened to him? Like, this is a totally different person. Ever since he's he's been Heymanized, he's been. Dick riding Floyd Mayweather, he's one of his biggest fanboys now, tries to discredit everything that's involved with Manny Pacquiao, his career, his accomplishments, his wins even, tries to down, downplay him, not get him the full credit he deserves. He pretty much praises Heyman that he's, he's great for boxing and, when, and that he, he, he does take care of his fighters, no doubt about that. But at the, at the same time, he's he's also hurting the sport with his mismatches and you know and, and suspect results with with the some of his fights. Uh, a few of his, you know, a couple of his clients have laid down for his his A side opponents. The you know the the, the head scratching decisions. I mean, look at the the bullshit decision Marcus Brown got over that opponent against a Lou DiBella promote, promoted fighter. So. Ever since Maanaji has been hemonized, he's been singing a different tune, but it is what it is. Maanaji just has confused admiration for Manny Pacquiao. He's another secret fan of his, won't acknowledge his greatness, won't acknowledge, won't admit that he's, he's the best fighter of this era. To me, it's clear he's the best fighter of this era, that Manny Pacquiao is the best fighter of this era. Because he accomplished more than Floyd Mayweather, beat more Hall of Famers, beat threats in their primes, won more titles, jumped up more divisions, and also unofficially beat Floyd Mayweather. But y'all tell me, this is Boxing Truth. I'm out.